Hello, Cedars backers and Cedars users. I'm Jason Wu from the Cedars 2 team. As a lot of people are asking how to use Upstream 3 to set up dual extrusion, so I will give you a very short introduction on how to do this. First, we can try to load a dual extrusion model first. So after we uh, click on the dual extrusion model, as you can see, we have loaded this pink model here, which is part of the Tai Chi uh, icon. And immediately, the software will ask the user whether you would want to add a sub model for the main model of this one or add an image onto the model. So in this case, we add a sub model. Now we choose the second part for the Tai Chi icon. Okay. Now we can see that we have the two parts. The first part is loaded as the main model and the second part here is load as a sub model for the main model and automatically the software assign extruder 2 as the type of the sub model so therefore um, for a dual extrusion model you can just load one part of the model as a main model first and then follow up with the second part as the sub model and and the software will automatically assign the extruder tool to print the second part so now we try to slice this part so we can see that the extruder 1 is represented by the red and the extruder 2 represented by the, uh, by the blue color. So this is the um, a very simple procedure of uh, importing a dual extrusion model. So you may ask again, uh, what if I want to convert a single model into a dual extrusion, into dual extrusion model? Um, we can do this also by the submodel function in Absolute 3. Let's first load a single model. For example, okay, since this is a single extrusion model by default, and we do not have a submodel or image for now, so we just click close. So we have this model right here. And I would like to turn it okay so we can see that this is a dinosaur um, a normal single extrusion model here so what if I would like to change some color on the body we can do this with the sub model function here of this little plus icon we click here and then we can choose from a menu of preset parametric models or we can use this file select uh, option here to import a customized model so for now I just import a sphere with a diameter of 20 millimeter and now I can choose the type of the submodel here um, I don't know yet, so I just keep it as union. Now we see this little sphere here. And here we can also see a sphere submodel is added under the main model. Um, and we can see the name and its type. And we can also have this cross icon to delete it. Now we can 
conveniently select between the sub model and the main model now I move it like this on the print space and I can also scale up a little bit okay so now we have this submodel of a sphere and I can select the submodel first I can put this sphere overlap maybe to the horns and let's see what happens So now I'm selecting extruder 2 as well, just like before, and see what happens. I first I need to move this a little bit backward. Okay, turn it a little bit. As you can see, as I turn the main model, the sub model is also turning with the main model, also the scaling as well. We can scale down a little bit. As you can see, the scale. It's also synchronized between the sub model and the main model. Okay, so now we have the main model of dinosaur and the sub model using extruder two. Oops, you maybe you are expecting another result, but for extruder two, it actually means. The model prints by extruder 2. We can see the horn is actually going into um, the sphere. So actually the sphere avoid the space of the horns. Um, you may ask, well what if I would like to mark the horns to another color? Well, this can be done easily by choosing another type of the submodel. Now we change the subsphere into the separate mode. In the separate mode, the sphere itself is not going to be printed, but only the overlap the region will be printed. However, the overlap the region will be converted into a separate part and print by the extruder tool. So that means separate mode here. Let's see what happens. Now we can see that the horns are now become another color, which means it will be printed by the extruder tool here, represented by the blue color. So now you understand the difference between extruder 2 and separate. Okay, that's it. Uh, I think this is the end of today's tutorial. So feel free to try out UpStudio 3. If you have any questions, send email to me. I will answer as much as possible. Bye-bye.